Hello and welcome to B-Bang's Films and today's quick tip is use a light meter. Now what is a light meter? Well, this is a light meter. A light meter is used on a set to measure light. So why is it important to use a light meter? Well, you don't want to rely on your screen monitor. I mean of course you want to rely on it to see what's in the image, but your screen monitor doesn't tell you how bright or how contrast your image are. So, to solve that problem, you want to use a light meter. For example, if you're shooting at an f4, you want your light meter to read at an f4. So if you're wondering why I was talking about the f4, what I was talking about is the f-stop scale, which is right here. So now that you get a glimpse of the f-stop scale, it helps you define your contrast ratio. So what contrast ratio is, is pretty much you having your key light and your fill light to define how you want your image to look like. So for example, if you want to shoot at a contrast ratio of a 1 to 2 ratio, your key light will be at an f4 and on the f-stop scale, your, your 1 to 2 ratio would be the f2.8. So let's look at some examples of why you should use a light meter. This shot is for example, I shot it and it was too dark. You know, I didn't use a light meter. And this shot was just too bright. And here's a shot of me using a light meter. Obviously I'm shooting at a F4 and the fill light is at an F2.8. So that pretty much sums up why you should be using a light meter. On a longer video, I'll show you guys how I use it on an actual set or just a set in my room or something. But for now, for this quick tip, this is all for now. And thank you for watching and until next time.